Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions, and welcome to the video tutorial for the LSP White Illustrative uh, Floral Overlays. These are for very white, very bright, high-key, backlit, um, you know, in my dazzling white backgrounds, which are notoriously difficult to get overlays to look realistic with and to work with. So, I'm going to show you how to use these overlays to get the best results in Photoshop. I'm going to be uh, demonstrating with this gorgeous selection of images here. As you can see, these images, um, this is shot by Anna Brandt, and you can see they are backlit, so the light is bouncing off the white background to give this gorgeous glow around the subject. Absolutely stunning. Very, very difficult to get any kind of background to work, uh, because any background you add in is going to be darker than the white, so it's going to kind of throw your balance off, which is why these florals have been designed. So, the first thing you need to do is download the um, the white illustrative uh, floral overlays from the LSP Actions website, and they will appear in your downloads. Now, this is a zipped folder. A zipped folder is compressed, which means you can't use it as it is the moment you download it. So, what you need to do, you need to extract the files. You can right-click and choose Extract All if you're on PC, or if you're on Mac, you can double-click and use the Archive Utility. So I'm just going to go ahead and extract those, it's just working. Now if you double click this it will open, but Photoshop may not be able to read what's inside, so it's always best to extract. And once you've done so, you can go ahead and open up the folder, and you'll see inside are 25 high key floral overlays and an action pack. You don't have to use the actions, they're included as a free bonus um, along with these, and I'm going to show you how to use these and how to do it by hand. So let's get started on installing the actions. You can double click these or drag and drop into your Photoshop. I'm using... Oh! <laughs> now this is what happens when you open the zip, which I'm really glad it did that. So what I'm going to do is double click. And there we go. If you get that notification pop up, just double click the actions. If you can't see your actions panel, and this goes the same whether you're in Photoshop Creative Cloud, whether you're in Elements, or whether you're in CS5 or CS6 old versions of Photoshop, whether you're on Mac or whether you're on PC, it's the same. You come up to Window and hit Actions, and your Actions panel will appear. The White Floral Applicator Actions will appear at the bottom of your Actions panel. You can keep them here, or what I like to do is drag them all the way to the top. But you can see my Action panel is absolutely jam-packed, as I'm sure you'd imagine it will be. Yours may not look quite so busy. So I've dragged them there to the top of the Action panel. Let's just make this smaller so we can see what's inside. So inside you have Add to White Background. You have CC, which stands for Creative Cloud. That's the Photoshop um, subscription version, the newest version of Photoshop, the best version of Photoshop. And underneath you have CS, um, which means, you know, CS5, CS6 versions of Photoshop, and Photoshop Elements. So depending on which version of Photoshop you use, um, you're going to want to choose which action you use. And then we have some bonus extras here, which I'll show you how to use. Because I'm in Creative Cloud, I'm going to be using the CC action. And this is great because it also will select the subject for you. So if you don't have Creative Cloud, I strongly recommend getting this one. What I also recommend, um, you can't do this on Elements, unfortunately, but in full versions of Photoshop, you can come up to the little lines on the burger menu, hit Button Mode, and you see your actions are coloured. They may look a bit of a mess. Ooh, let me get it. They may look a little bit like this, so I recommend dragging them into a nice neat column so it snaps. And you'll see your actions here, they're colour coded. In button mode to play an action, you simply click it. So let's go ahead and add a floral to this beautiful high key image. So because I'm in Photoshop Creative Cloud, I'm going to hit the CC action here. And this is going to um, open up the folders on your desktop on your computer. So go ahead and find the unzipped, not the zip, not the compressed, the unzipped version and open this up. I'm going to make these bigger. So let's decide which floral to add. Now you can mix and match these, you can add more than one because they're all on pure white background, so you can add more than one. For this one I'm going to add high key floral too. And what's going to happen is that's going to appear over the image, so I'm just going to resize this. Don't worry about it hiding your image for now. I'm just going to resize this roughly. You can also resize later as well. Hit enter or double click. And the action is playing out. What this is doing is selecting the subject and adding it. A little message popped up just to let you know what's inside these layers if you forget. Now you can see here in your layers panel, oh, if you can't see your layers panel, come up to window and hit layers. 
In your layers panel here, we have a group. And here's your background, this is your image. Above this, you have the texture that we've just added. You can see it here as a layer. And next to it, you have a layer mask. If you're not sure what a layer mask is, it's kind of like a Lotto scratch card. Uh, white means show and black means hide. So you can see the subject has been cut out and it's black, which means it's hidden. If we kind of disable that, you'll see that the floral overlays your subject. If you're not using Creative Cloud um, and you're using the CS and PSE version, you won't have a subject cut out. It's simply not available in the older versions of Photoshop. You'll just have a white mask. So what you need to do, the brush has already been selected for you on black, and you can start painting away this floral anywhere else you don't want it to show. For example here, it's overlaying the dress a little bit because it's using Photoshop's technology, which is getting better all the time, still isn't perfect. Especially with a backlit image, Photoshop just doesn't quite know what's meant to be white and what isn't. So I'm just going away, going around with a black brush and painting it away. See, look here, if I paint on here, it vanishes. If you use a white brush, it shows so you can paint things back on with a white brush. And when you're happy with your selection, you can play around. If you click on the texture, the actual texture box here, and hit the move tool, you can drag this about and reposition it. Um, so if you want to move things a bit, you can do. And you can see it just works so well with a white background. It really doesn't take away from the background. It's not uh, diminishing any of the whites. That's why these have been designed. Above here, you have some extra layers that I've popped in for you to play with. You have white blowout. So what this will do, it'll really, really, if your image is super high key and you want to really blow these whites out, you can just dab that over with a white brush. Above this, you have a deepened floral, because it's a black layer mask, so you need a white brush, and this will just deepen the tones of those florals if you want them to. I'm add a little bit of depth there. Then you have a floral fader. What this will do, it will just fade them out a little bit. So if they're a little bit strong, you can dab this over any way you like. Make sure you've selected the black mask. And you can see it's kind of fading them down there. And then at the top here, you have the colour paint on. What this is going to do is going to make things purple. So I'm just dabbing a little bit of colour. This is great if your model's wearing a different colour dress and you want to adapt the flowers. You see here, there's a little box. It kind of is a rectangle on the bottom, three little squares at the top, bit like a kind of an old Rubik's cube. So double click this one. The hue and saturation box will pop up and you can simply move the slider to select your colour. Let's say it's something bizarre like, um, like purple. You can also change the saturation to really make them um, overly saturated. Using a black and white brush, you can paint this on or off any way you like. So let's say I'm on a white brush and I'm just going to paint this purple. So you can really add and tweak and change these if you want to. If you want to add another um, another floor, you can do. You simply play the action again. Just clicking a random one here just to show you. So we're just going to resize this. Let's pop it in here. And again, it will do exactly the same technique. It will, if you're in Creative Cloud, it's going to select the subject. If you're on um, an older version or element, it won't, but it will give you the mask, so you can just paint like this. Paint off your subject any way you like. And you can see we've just added another one in there. Really fun, really simple, and you can just you can add as many as you like, and you can turn them on or off. So it looks quite pretty, very, very subtle. And at any point, you can select the texture. You can move this around. You can add it exactly where you want to add it. Um, and edit as much as you like to make this really, really suit your image. But they are designed to be able to just drag and drop straight in. So that's how you use the actions. If you want to add a floor perspective, add the floor to the beanbag or add a grain texture. You can watch the following video because these are the same for all the LSP floor overlay actions. So in the next video, even though it's not on white, you can see how to use that one. It's the same technique. So let me show you how to add um, manually by hand if you don't want to use these actions or if you're not able to use the actions. Open up your image, come up here to File and hit Place Embedded. Locate the, uh, the unzipped white floral illustrative overlays and decide which one you'd like to add to your image. Let's go for something completely different here. Let's add this one. So again, you can resize and pop this down. 
Because you're adding manually, the actions haven't played out, so you'll notice this has just sat right on top of your actual image. So what you need to do on the Layers panel is come up to where it says Normal, that's your Blend Mode, and change it to Multiply. Next up, you need to come down here and add a layer mask. It's kind of the rectangle with a circle in. And that adds the white layer mask again, nothing's changed yet. You can grab a brush, set to black. I like 100% opacity, 25% flow. Just make that a little bit harder. And I'm just going to start painting this off the subject. You see, black hides the florals. You can switch to white uh, to show them in any way you like. So a little kind of dabby mix between black and white is what I like to do to add the florals in. Let's go ahead and add another one by hand. So file, place embedded. Let's add another one in. Let's go for something again that's a little bit different. These big kind of slightly more realistic florals. Although if you zoom in you'll see that they are very illustrative. And again add the layer mask. Grab a black brush. Oh hang on. On the layer mode Set the layer mode to multiply. This is why I like using the actions because it just does all of this for you. But again, actions aren't for everybody. I include them as a kind of a complementary add-on. You don't have to use them. A little bit of that showing through because it would. And there we go. If you want to add any editing layers manually, you come down here, the little half and half circle. I like levels, that's always a good one, or curves you could add in. And if you change this, it's going to affect your whole image, which you don't want it to do. So right click, choose create a clipping mask, and that's going to only affect the floral. You see here the arrow is clipped in. So you can change the florals if you want to. So let's just really brighten those up. And I'm going to do the same for this one because we have two there. So I need to clipping mask and brighten that up a little bit. So there we go. There's before and after. Adding those florals in, really, really pretty. Let's go for one more. Now this one is not backlit, it's a very bright white background, but it is not backlit. So you see here these images um, are glowing, the subject is glowing, the background is absolutely white, completely white. Here the background's white, but it's not backlit. So let's go ahead and add the florals, just to see this different effect. Which one should we go for, for this image? How about we go for do 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 do? Let's go for something nice and pink. Okay, this one here. Double click, and that's just going to play the actions out to adapt it to your image. So I like using the actions; it just makes it so much easier. And there we go. You can hit V or Control or Command T or Edit Free Transform to move this about. Just make sure you've clicked here on the um, the floral layer. We can resize that as well. Goes quite nicely because she's got flowers on her dress. And that's done. I'm going to use Floral Fader here a little bit just to kind of blow out this side. You can see that's where the light is. And the deepen. <laughs> the actions will, uh, these will actually be brushes when you see it. For some reason I've uploaded one of my, um, my older versions here. So I'm just going to deepen that side down a little bit. Really nice. We can add some colour paint. Let's just add a little bit of that just to adapt it a little more to her dress. White means show and black means hide. When I'm editing, I like to have my finger on the keyboard. Um, and if you hit the X key, if you see over here, it switches between black and white. That's really handy when you're editing with brush layers. Oh, something else. Um, you also have a blur, a Gaussian blur here on the um, underneath your texture, your floral. So if you grab a white brush, you can paint blur on. Can you see? So if you want to make the floors nice and blurry in the background, you can do this. You can also double click this little tiny bit, bit fiddly, where it says Gaussian Blur. And you can adjust this to suit your image if you wanted to. You see it was very blurry. Yeah, so you can adjust the strength of the blur. The little eye turns it on and off. Or you can simply paint black. Entirely up to you. So I really hope you enjoy using these as much as I enjoyed creating them. These are the LSP um, Illustrative White Floral um, Overlays for very, very white backgrounds. You can use them on very light backgrounds as well. They don't have to be high key, but they were designed with high key in mind. But they will work, as you can see, just as nicely on images that aren't backlit. 
So please do watch the other videos underneath for adding florals to a bean bag, a floral perspective and a grain texture. And I really hope you love using these. Please do join the LSP Actions Facebook group. That's facebook.com uh, forward slash groups forward slash uh, Lemon Sky Actions. And you can visit the website lsp-actions.com at any time to watch the video tutorials and to shop the other products for white. There is a high key uh, blast set, there's white linen, there's white textures, there's lots of things to really elevate your white photography. I'm Lauren, thanks for watching.